What's up, I'm Aiden. We're here at my DIY self build. Just remember, I don't have a trade, I just have a go. We're gonna do a little bit of painting today, but not with a paintbrush and roller. We're gonna use an airless sprayer. Graco Classic 390 PC. And I've never used one before, so we're just gonna wing it. I need to do a mist coat first. I've been using this. This goes on really well by roller, but it doesn't say on here you can apply it by a spray. So I'm kind of like, risking it a little bit we might need to thin it down a little bit more and then i'm going to spray it but before we can do that i needed to prep everything in here first things first i took off all the sockets and the light switches they're all ready to go i need to obviously hoover around it and just make sure the dust is off i'm going to wrap them in cling film i've never seen it done before but i think that's going to keep the paint off I reckon we'll be all right. Sort out the cracks. So what I actually done was I scraped it out with a screwdriver just to make that crack a bit wider. There was kind of hairline cracks in a way. And then I used a no-nonsense fine surface filler. I done that quite light. So if you do it the same as me, it does sink in a little bit and you will need to do it again. Then I sanded. Now me personally, I sand everything. The bits that I filled and all of the walls and it gives me an opportunity to check everywhere and it take that little bit of shine off and any fat that hasn't really gone into the plaster. I think that that's probably the best option, belt and braces, but I'm not sure you even need to do it. What does everyone else do? Tell me because I probably would, I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. It's been a pain absolute pain because as a result it's all dusty and i really couldn't be bothered to sort it out i hate cleaning so i've been procrastinating quite a lot i use the sanding pad with 240 grit sandpaper and every now and then i'd give it a scrub to get the dust out i'm gonna pick up all my sandpaper do a little bit of hoovering with the titan hoover all the walls i'll probably brush it down with a broom i've got some uh, microfiber cloths that I like using. I've got like loads of them over there. I might wet it down. We'll see how far. And then once I've done that, we can have a go at spraying. And then once I've done one coat tomorrow, I'm gonna do uh, another coat of the top coat. I'm gonna do another coat and uh, I'm gonna back roll that one so we get the texture on but i'm not sure whether i should just roller it or whether i should try spraying it and back rolling it we'll see how it goes we'll see how it feels when i'm spraying i think the trick to tidying up is pop on some music and just crack on and once i've done that i've got to take that v-lux that v-lux and this door which is going to be a pain because the door's old and the masking tape won't stick to this so i might have to stick it to the frame but i might wrap the plastic around I've only got plastic as well. We're all ready to go. Let's get going. We're all wrapped. I'd say the masking up maybe, that maybe took an hour, I'd say. I mean, there wasn't much to do. The good thing about using a cling film, you can put it over the lights. You can still use them because it is dark outside. It's actually two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> this is um, Parkinson's law, this is. The amount of time you give yourself to actually complete a task, you're gonna fill up that whole time. So the only thing I, this particular week, the only thing I come back to to do was basically paint this and I've, I've sat in a caravan for like three days and I've not done anything. Now I'm doing it today. It, it was a pain. It absolutely got right on my tits. We need to, wash out the lines but before that can you see what that says there you see you see what that says there Carl? and then uh yeah oh that looks clean didn't it 
hopefully I can wire brush it maybe bloody hell am I gonna have to poke through them holes individually I've done the best I can on that right, I need some water I plumbed up this temporarily suction into that one and prime it this is a uh, based on YouTube can I remember um, so I wouldn't prime unless both bits were in the water now I'm gonna wash out the gun Okay, I've turned it off, release the pressure in the gun. I need to put this, this is the guard that goes on here. And I bought a new tip. So this is a 517 low pressure. Um, I had to guess at the 517 because, oh, yeah, I had to guess at the 517 because this paint that I've got, it's uh, not designed for, spraying normally you're supposed to be able to look at the data sheets or contact the manufacturer and they'll tell you what size tip to use but most emulsions as far as I understand it you can Where's this going? I haven't got anything to test it on so I'm just going to test it on the wall somewhere behind where the kitchen's going to be so it won't really matter no it's gone the wrong way around balls is it best to put that in after <laughs> ah stabs let's go this then we'll put in this this is uh, the no-nonsense trade their plaster that I'd already mixed up previously. Hopefully we're going to have enough because I don't want to go in the container and get another one. Shit. I think I might put a little bit more water in. It's been watered down, I don't know, up to 10%. Between 5 and 10%, I reckon. Let's get water out of it. Uh, maybe I should take this off. got no idea what I'm doing to turn the gauge at 1500 yeah I'm gonna try it there and then you're supposed to test and then see if you've got towels uh. <laughs> is that got towels Does that look all right? So apparently the low, obviously the lower pressure one, if you get, um, the lower pressure one gets less overspray. I mean, that looks all right to me. <laughs> Shall I just carry on?
That is pretty bloody awesome. Pretty bloody awesome. Nice. Nice. Um, that took like less than 10 minutes. Like maybe like eight minutes. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a little bit of a verdict. I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see it, but there's a, that bit's a little bit thick just there. I think what it is, everywhere is like fine, apart from where I had the filler. So, can you, can you see that? Yeah, you must be able to. Yeah. See where it's a bit like mm, ripply? So, I think everywhere else, it's just got sucked into the plaster. But on the bits with filler, it hasn't some reason but yeah I mean it's quite consistent I mean bearing in mind it is a miscoat it's not going to be perfect but I reckon it's not too shabby is it I definitely need some more paint though I think I've almost gone through half of that so I mean I, if it'll be tight I might as well just go and grab the paint now and then, then I can get it all done then I can go to bed for a little bit. I've cleaned up the machine quickly. I've left it left the water in it because I'm going to be using it tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one coat of the top coat and then um, I'm going to leave it there because it's late, I'm tired, it's gone four o'clock already. Um, so tomorrow I'm probably going to be getting up late. I'll do another coat and then my last coat, uh, I'll do that another time. And I'll, I'm just going to roll with that because Obviously, if we're going to knock this, aren't we, with our heads or whatever, and you're going to need to touch it in. Hopefully, it won't flash too much with the um, John Stone's uh, Cover Plus. But yeah, I reckon that, that's the plan. It's gone amazing, though. I mean, everyone should have one. I know you can get the uh, Wagner 250s. I think they're all right. I was after one of them second hand, but I mean, this this is uh, Lou's brother's, so it, I need to get it back to him Sunday. So that's the reason, we'd say it's Saturday tomorrow. Uh, Storm Eunice was today. Thank luck, like the roof didn't go or anything. Uh, this paint, you're not supposed to apply it uh, below 10 degrees, so I've put the radiator on and I'm using the dehumidifiers fan just to blow it through. So, yeah, I'm going to go to bed now. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, round two. We're back on it. I had a late one again. Well, I, I just slept in till I don't think it was like half two, three or something. I've had my salmon and my salad and I'm cracking on. It's dark outside. I just want to get this done quickly. I should be able to get it done quicker this time round because I know what I'm doing. Well, I say I know what I'm doing. I kind of don't, but I do. Uh, let's give you a couple of tips. I mean, the opacity on this stuff is amazing. This was watered down, I'd say about 15 to 20% in the end. So more than the manufacturers recommended. When you're doing round the light switches, it's hard to get uh, well, it's hard to n stop getting too much paint on. So what you need to do is like you move it out of the way, you paint your hand a little bit and you just do a little tap, 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 rather than like go in, you just get too much paint on. So that's what I found. So I know how to do that this time around. The bits where too much paint went on, where the filler was, uh, it's not too bad. You can't really see it that much. Um, so I'm, I would 
maybe I should knock it back a little bit. I don't know if you can see it over here. But I'm gonna leave that and just go with the next coat. Whilst I said I was maybe gonna back roll a coat. So this, this goes on super flat and then if you wanna touch anything in, if you knock it, you're bound to do it with a roller and it's pretty hard to like match it in because it's gonna have a different texture. So the professionals, what they do is they spray a coat on and then when it's still wet, you go over it with the roller to give that slight texture. Um, I was gonna try that, but these walls, you, you do like one wall at a time if you're doing it on your own, but I mean, it's a big bloody wall, isn't it? And it's gonna be quite strenuous and plus I've not given myself enough time to actually do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'll do this coat now and then the last coat I'm actually gonna roll instead. So any little bits like that, I'm thinking you probably won't see it by the time I roll the last coat. I'm probably gonna use like a medium pile roller just to give it that little bit. And there's a couple of bits of like fill in here. It kind of looks a tiny bit raised, especially with this bright light shining up. But I reckon by the time I've rolled it, you won't see any of that. And plus this is North facing anyway. So I doubt you would even see it. Obviously the, the light in here is never gonna be as bright as this light down here. This coat is gonna be the Cover Plus Vinyl Matte by John Stones. It's supposed to be really good. I'd like to see how it goes on with roller though, but we'll see how it goes with spraying. I'm gonna water it down. I'm gonna to top it up to the top and try not to spill it. So it's, I don't know, maybe it's gonna be watered down like 5% or something. We'll try and see, see if we can get it through the sprayer. I'll tell you if something goes wrong. Um, I've always had really good, the, the last house that i done, we used to get free paint off the next door neighbor. He was a painter and decorator and he gave us Dulux Final Matte and Dulux Final Silk. They was amazing. So I'm thinking that this will be the same, but it's like half the price. You can see how much I got on my hat as well. Obviously I got a little bit on my hair, so put your hood up. Uh, even though I'm losing the low pressure tip, I suppose I got it up to about 1700 PSI. You still get a little bit of overspray, not like massively like into the room, just like in the immediate area. So it's probably a good idea to cover up properly. And this light as well, that got a little bit of paint on, but I just scoured that off. But let's get set up. Jobs are good and all done. That took me 35 minutes, I timed myself, to actually paint the whole lot. It's not great, I'll show you. Can you see that? It's a little bit stripy. And it's weird how the paint sits uh, different on the uh, filler. Can you see that up there? A little bit shiny bit. And I had one run just on this corner down here because I think I hit this twice without realizing but I just smudged it in and then done a little bit of a another spray overall it looks looks all right apart from a little bit of stripiness but I'm sure that will dry unstripy <laughs> is unstripy a word <laughs> so yeah, I mean, when I roll it, I reckon that'll be all right. I, I, I had about 500 milliliters left or half a liter left of paint. I've got more paint, but it was good. Uh, mask for this, you need a P3 one. 
Uh, cleaning up the machine took me, I don't know, about 20 minutes or so. It's not done properly, properly, because like I, I would like to get it spanking, but there was already loads of dry paint on there, so I just had to do what I could do. So in conclusion, would I use an airless sprayer again? Yeah, cold up bloody wood. It's quite quick, even masking up or clearing up the machine, and you get a good coverage very quickly. It is hard going white on white though, so that's probably something you need to look out for. You're supposed to get a 50-50 overlap. Maybe my pressure wasn't right on the actual machine, but there you go. So I'm sure there's room for improvement at the end of the day. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. If you haven't already, smash the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.